Hello everybody, welcome back to the JB Gaming Channel. I know I've not posted on here for a while, uh, but life has obviously uh, got on top of me and I've finally uh, sorted it out. But what I am looking at going to do is doing a bit of a challenge on the channel with old school RuneScape. Um, I used to play this when I was a bit younger, uh, got back into it recently, and really enjoy how it's changed really. But what I want to do as you can tell by the name at the bottom left, item drop only. So I only want to do this account where I haven't skilled anything up, um, just herb lore, but I'll explain why that is level 3. But I haven't done anything on the account at this moment. It's a brand new account. It's got a membership on there. Um, but each attacking character, if we look, has a drop table. So on the right hand side here, you can see 100% that man will drop bones and all that kind of stuff. All this stuff is obviously obtainable by killing this man uh, in the game. If we click on this, it will take us to the website, which is OSORS Wiki, which is their Wikipedia site, really. If we go down to, do, 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 where is he? Go down to man, it will show you all of his drops and the percentages and the rates. So for me to get a bronze med helm, it will, it's a 1 in 64 chance of dropping that. So what I want to do on the account is to get every single drop by every M, uh, NPC. So that is attacking from the beginning spiders, goblins, chickens, cows, obviously men, but going up to the big bosses in the game, if I show you them. If we come on to the collection logs, we're looking at the bosses. So the Abysmal Sire, you've got the Chaos Elements. You've got so many different bosses up here, which they drop uniques. But eventually, we'll have a look at the drop tables and see what we can also get from them so so if something takes a one in five thousand it may take five thousand kills to actually get that drop but you'll get that at the grasp of the uh, as the uh, account progresses on also dropping is clue scrolls and this is how we are going to level up our account so as you can see the stats are all level ones uh, like i said exclude herbal or um but i will explain that shortly but what will happen when we attack these men, if you have a look at the drop rate, at the very bottom, there are clue scrolls. So you've got a beginner clue scroll, 1 in 90, and an easy clue scroll, a 1 in 2, um, one two eight. So if I attack this man, he drops a clue scroll, we will then do that clue scroll. Um, what will happen then, it will also give us a way to actually level some of this up. So, for example, if we need a iron dagger, so there, an iron dagger, but we can't get it from the drop and the clue wants us to use it before we drop it, we can actually head and smith it. So we can get to level 15 smithing and craft that, but that would obviously mean I'd have to do the mining to get the copper and tin to do this. So this is the beginning of the channel. Hopefully you'll understand what I want to do with it, but it will come a lot clearer. So, the reason why I've got level 3 herb law is because you cannot do anything until you are level 3 on this. But if we come over to a goblin, there we go, a bit of green game noise. So let's stay here, stay here. Come over this way. So we look at a drop weight rate of a goblin, and if we go all the way to the bottom for a goblin, they drop a goblin champion scroll, a 1 in 5,000. But we cannot drop that until we have got 32 quest points. So what I've done before I started this uh, episode is I've done a few quests. And these quests have been done without getting any XP. So nothing's been XP except for this one. This gives you level 3. But the only reason why that is, is because you can't clean herbs until level 3. So that is the only one that I've actually got XP on, just to get to level 3, so that when we start dropping 
um, some of the grimy herbs, we can then clean them and obviously bank them and then use them later on down the line. Um, cooking, wood chopping, that's all on... Um, all, all the XP that's been gained is all on the tutorial island anyway. All them items have been dropped. Um, as you can see in my inventory, I do have a bro uh, beginner casket. And the reason why I have that is X marks the spot. It gives you a beginner clue scroll. Um, so I did the beginner clue scroll to get the casket. Um, also, Demon Slayer is the very last one we need to get the 32 points. But it wants us to kill a level 27 demon. I am not strong enough for that. I am only three combat. At least, at least wants us to be 15 minimum. So we will head towards actually getting that 15 million. Um, but in the bank, we have the three keys that we need. We are now at the step to actually attack the demon. But we will not obviously be attacking the demon until we uh, until we need to um, get to the combat level. So because I got the beginner clue scroll, clue scrolls in the game drop you uniques. These are all obtained by clue scrolls. So beginner clue scrolls, you can get mole slippers, you can get frog slippers, you can get bare feet, you can get demon feet, you can get a jester's cape and all that kind of stuff. But the only way you can do that is by opening the caskets. So, the first monster we will we'll be killing is a monster that doesn't drop anything, exclude clue scrolls. Once you receive one clue scroll from this monster, if I show you, we go down into the castle, into the dungeon, you will see, hold on a second, let me turn off quest helper. That will get rid of that. You will see on the floor a spider, a level one spider. If we look at the table rates, you will see it's a one in 128 drop for a beginner clue scroll. But this is the only creature that we can kill without dying. I do obviously do not want to die because it's just um, you lose all your items, all that kind of stuff, and it's just going to be boring. As you can see, there are labels spotted on your screen cabbages a knife boots i cannot pick them up the only way i can source an item is from a monster drop so for example later on we will need if we go back to the goblin for a clue scroll i know it's number two i do know we need a red cape for a clue scroll so if that does appear on the clue scroll, we will then try and obtain that red cape by attacking the level 5 goblins, which if I come to the world map, uh, uh, basically we're in a dungeon, so it's going to show this map. But on the world map, there is a camp called Goblin Camp, and they're all up there. You can attack them and hopefully get the, uh, get the cape. But that is only to complete the crawl. A clue scroll and then we'll go back to the original monsters that we were attacking so at the moment we are going to start off by obviously opening the beginner casket and hopefully we get a unique we might not we might let me change my filter so that's now on that'll tell us that we've unlocked tracks and stuff and it'll also tell us once i open this clue scroll what we have obtained and how much it's roughly worth but we so the rules of this account only get items from monster drops or crafting it ourselves no using the grand exchange trading with other players or using shops the only time we're allowed to use the shop is if an item is for sale that we cannot obtain through a monster drop so for example there is some robes some skirts that we will need for clue scrolls that are not dropped by a monster if that item is dropped by a monster we will then obviously obtain it through the monster and not through the shop um we cannot level up our skill chart unless it's through a clue scroll so for example like i said if we need an iron dagger the man hasn't dropped it we need level 15 smithing for us to actually drop the dagger 
But the only way to get level 15 smithing is to mine some copper and tin. Because we cannot level up smithing without going through the bronze bars. And the only way to make a bronze bar, as you saw at the beginning, is one tin, one copper. So we would have to use the mining to actually get there. But once we get to level 15, we then stop and then go and craft the item we need. And then we get back to where we were and what monster we were attacking on. Hopefully that explains a little bit on what I'm looking to do on this channel. Um, and bring a bit of a, a bit of difference on the channel, really. Because obviously I know it has been simulating games. I have got some new simulating stuff on the on, on, on my computer that I would love to do. Um, but I want, I want to try something a bit different and see how we go with that. So anyways... After explaining all of that, I will obviously try and help you through the steps as I go through it. But I think let's start off with opening this casket and see what we get. Here we go. Here's a start of item drop only. Oh, fantastic. So we've got th uh, 43 earth ruins and two law ruins. And at this moment in time, we cannot do anything with them because our magic is only level one. So the next thing I want to do is start get, trying to get an easy clue scroll, I think. Or was it a beginner's? I think it was a beginner's, wasn't it? So if we look up the drops, it is a beginner clue scroll. Once we do this, we will move on to the next monster. And then I'll explain what we need from that next monster's drop. But... Obviously, we're allowed to uh, level up our attack, strength, defense. Um, if we get round to it, ranging, magic, uh, and prayer. And obviously, the HP will go up anyway as we're attacking monsters. Uh, the only stats we're allowed to level up without, obviously, the clue scrolls being involved. So, let's see how long it takes to actually get a beginner clue scroll. So normally what will happen is there is a tracker, but because they're not dropping anything, it doesn't actually tell us how many we've killed. But once we start getting into monsters that attack, uh, drop things, it will tell us then. And there we go. There's our first combat level coming in. That is level two strength. These are really quite easy to kill. Um, I've got 10 HP, and I don't think they're taking one off me. And there we go. That is level 3 strength, followed by level 4 combat. So, we are one step closer to killing a demon. We'll keep going on strength for now, till at least level 5, and then we'll move over to attack, and then a defense, and then keep rotating it back through. Also, uh, we will receive, if I show you others, down onto random events. We will see receive some random events, which will give us some uh, some fashion scape, really. Um, camo tops, uh, beekeeper's outfit, all that kind of stuff. Um, but you'll see that as the game progresses. And there we go. Level four. Strength. One more level and then we'll move over to attack. Is level 5 strength. You'll just complete the task of getting started with strength. Oh yeah, didn't explain that either. I've started the account off saying that I've never played this game before, which will give us a bit of an advantage in the future. So what you do here is complete these challenges and you get these items. So that is a steel sword uh, and you'll get 500 coins for being a member. Um, the more you level up, the swords get better. Uh, so that's a Ruinite, uh, a thousand coins, a black shield, uh, a black sword, sorry, not shield, and 500 coins. But that is also on strength. We get five trout, I think they all cut dry, some boots, some gloves, some more trout, and an attack potion. We obviously get more to last level 10 strength. That is level 20. Same with defense, we get some defensive items. Same with range, get some ranging items, followed by magic, and also gathering. If we get to level 
five fishing we get a fishing rod and some bait same with wood cutting an axe and some logs and the same with mining a pickaxe and some ore to uh, smelt into bronze things so i did that just to help us on later in the game um it just makes it a little bit easier i know on some of these channels they do go for iron men uh which is hardcore iron men and it's it just doesn't help me out in the long run later on down the line when i'm needing to uh to actually achieve what i need to achieve on the game but what i'm also going to do is i'm not going to collect all this stuff until it's all completed so that we're not getting a massive head start if you know what i mean there's no point in me going to get that steel sword now because then that's just OP, um, OP in the character already. I'm happy with just punching and kicking at the minute as we're not at that stage where we need equipment to help, help us out at the moment. Well, that was level 2 attack plus level 5 combat. Finally, we have... The beginner clue scroll i could have done with level three there but never mind that is the spiders oh before we go up let's not tag them untag them there we go we are going to be done with attacking spiders so our next creature which i want to be attacking is the chickens so if we go over to the drop table they drop always drop bones they always drop raw chicken they drop times five feathers times 15 and they also drop a beginner clue scroll once we have achieved all these we then move on to the next monster but let's have a look at this clue scroll so it wants us to talk to hunting in barbarian village which, if I'm not mistaken, should be up there. So if we set that as a waypoint, off we go. So we've arrived at the Barbarian Village. And like I said, this is obviously on the right-hand side there is your drop table. Obviously, it says we've killed one level, um, one level one spider and got us one clue scroll. It wasn't one. It was probably about, I would say, about 60 to 70 spiders to actually get the first one. But that is still under the drop weight rate, which isn't bad. So let's talk to the first dude. Well done. And he's give us a new clue. So beginner clue scrolls are three steps. And... <laughs> okay, cokey. Right. That is a little bit of a pickle. Because if we actually go to the goblin table, these are level 5 and I've only just got to level 4. I don't think it's going to be achievable. Chef's hat, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh no, the, spider, uh, the goblins that I need to attack don't even drop the chef's hat. It's the other spiders. The other goblins. A 1 in 42. But I don't want to attack goblins until I've got me... 32 so on this occasion i'm going to have to drop the clue scroll and return back to lumbridge so it's a shame that i had to drop the clue scroll really um but i was not going to be able to get the chef's hat and the red cape this early in the game um it just wasn't going to happen the goblins ain't up these level two goblins are not up well, not a problem. They all have um, have five XP, um, HP. Sorry, not XP. They do have five, um, and I've only got ten. And they do attack. I think they hit two max. Well, let's have a look at the wiki. So we look up drops. Click on an item. That should take us on to here. If we actually type in goblin, and come to this one so their max hit yeah is a two and i've only got 10 hp but in the next episode we are going to look 
at the drop rate of chickens. It shouldn't take us long to get everything, I would say. Like I said, it's the clue scroll again, a 1 in 300. Um, but to get everything else, I don't think it's going to take forever. So it won't take us forever. It's been a clue scroll normally. Um, but if we do drop extra stuff, we will keep it. I am also going to say the bones that we do drop, they will be buried. So then we can get our prayer XP up. Um, the higher our prayer XP is, the better it's going to be. But you've been watching JB Gaming. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Chicken out.